Hey guys, it's your girl Juliet. Welcome, welcome, welcome back to my channel and welcome to those of you who are new. Um, yes, so today we are going to be pruning, propagating my mini ficus elastica. So this is what it looks like, guys. This uh, ficus I purchased um, from um, a boutique here in Ontario, Canada, and um, it's a rescue plant. So, um, you know, it was uh, described as it needing a little bit of love. But uh, yes, yeah, so here I have it. I've had it since April and um, you know there's this little these short um stems that are growing at the bottom and then we have this um these taller more leggy um foliage up top and it's growing it's growing very nicely um these new leaves that are coming out are they're tiny they're not getting they're not getting that much bigger than the previous um leaf but i'm thinking that you know what you know it's putting out energy into um into the big leaves and the taller stems as well as the shorter ones right here and this is the pain of um my anguish here <laughs> these um smaller stems here but i figured i would prune them and get them out and then put them into a separate pot so that they could grow separately and more evenly and see how big those get so here we go um i'm just here trying to figure out where um i'm gonna cut this bunch from um but yeah this is how small they are um i can't even fit my fingers in there properly um uh, much less the, the the clippers but um i'm doing my best I managed to get those tiny ones out of the way and um, time for this one here so I'm able to get that one out of the way I noticed that where there were some taller stems with um, one maybe two leaves on it at the very top and they were pretty tiny so I figured I'd tackle those as well and get those out of the pot um, again I'm just trying to make it so that the energy is focused on those taller stems um, or stalks so that those can um, grow bigger leaves now um, here's where I'm not too sure if I did something wrong um, now okay you guys let me know okay so um, should I have cut the taller stems and move those into a different pot um, and grown them separately and left the shorter stems to grow in this pot um seeing as how the taller stems are a little bit more established and more mature like i'm not too sure what it is but um i'm feeling like i did that wrong i should have actually cut the taller stems and left the smaller stems to grow and mature a bit more before doing anything with those just to see how they would progress but um that's the question of this video guys let me know in the comments let me know what you think and um yeah what would you have done <laughs> all right so here i'm just examining the cuttings that i have so that i can pot them where um where i can and here is the point where i discovered that this particular plant had um what are they called um oh, what are they called thrips that's what they are thrips um i found out that they had thrips so i just gave it a quick washing and a quick rinse and um i inspected the, the the rest of the leaves um after but um yeah so i got rid of them but these thrips they are actually a pain 
in my side um, for several of my plants. Like um, I don't get bombarded by too many other um, other pests. Um, fingers crossed, knocked on wood. <laughs> because uh, yeah, thrips, they're just bothering me. Only once I had an instance of uh, mealybugs and I think that came from the store that I purchased the plant from um, and I got rid of that and I haven't seen it since, but yeah so here i am potting the mini plant um the shorter stems that i've pruned out of the pot the, the main pot and yes yeah, so i'm just filling that in now this is a new potting soil that i'm trying out um i'll put the name um in the in the comments below and um not in the comments but in the description below and um you could check it out but it seems to be well draining there's supposed to be some um uh worm castings in it um and uh it's supposed to be good but um, i'm just trying it out seeing how it goes and um, i'll let y'all know but here i'm i am doing my best to um place these stems in um in an orderly fashion or just you know in a way that um they're spaced out evenly or as even as possible and um yeah i'm kind of feeling like like i wish i had um actually put it in water first to before potting it just so that I could see the progression of the root growth uh, just to see how fast or quickly they grow and if they're gonna grow and um, whatnot but um, maybe I'll try that next time around <music> I gave it a good watering and that's about that guys so um this is what the small pot looks like and this is what my big pot or our main pot looks like now it looks a lot cleaner um a lot uh more sophisticated <laughs> i'm still not liking the leggy stems um but we'll see how the plant progresses from now on that i've um, been able to eliminate some of the energy suckers out of the pot but i'll let you guys know okay i'll keep you guys posted i hope um, you enjoyed the video and once again let me know once again what you would have done would you have cut off the taller stems or would you have done it the way that i did let me know let me know don't forget to give me a thumbs up subscribe have a good day guys take care